So, in the first video, we discuss about what sentence is and the rules to construct a proper, sensible and meaningful sentence. In the next video of ours, that means in this video, we are going to discuss about the kinds, kinds of the sentences. There are majorly four basic kinds of the sentence. The first one is declarative sentences. What are declarative sentences? As the name itself gives you the meaning, declaration. The sentences that give some declarations, that give some statements like journal statements. I am going to the school. He is my best friend. I could not feel good. He did not complete his work. These are the common declarations, common statements which are taken in the category of declarative sentences. When the sentences which are in declarative category, when they are giving you a general statement without any notification of any negative sign, that type of sentences are called affirmative sentences. When, when there are the notifications of a negative sign in the sentence, then they are called negative sentences. So basically, we can divide the declarative sentences in these two categories also. Affirmative, general sentences with the positive notions. Negative sentences with the sign of negativity. No, not. Hmm? Now, like he is a smart boy. That is a affirmative sentence or a declarative sentence. He did not complete his work. Negative sentence in its declarative category. Now the second one, second kind of sentence is imperative sentences. Second kind of sentences Imperative sentences. Imperative sentences are the sentences that gives you jo aapko kya dete hain? the information regarding any command or request or order by the subject in the sentence. Aapko kahi par bhi command milta hai, request hota hai, koi aapse uh, command karta hai, aapko request karta hai, order karta hai, ye jis type ke sentences hote hain, inko hum bolte hain imperative sentences. Like, Please bring me a glass of water. It's a request. Please bring me a glass of water. Stand at ease. It's a command. Stand at ease. So these are the examples for imperative sentences. Got that? Now the third sentence, third kind of sentence is very, very, very common to every student. Like the sentences that ask questions and those sentences are called as interrogative sentences. Yes. Interrogative sentences. A very common kind of sentence, that sentence which gives you any sign of interrogation. Interrogation, when a sentence asks you a question. Jab bhi aap se kisi tarah ka question puchha jata hai, wo sentences hote hai, interrogative sentences. Why did you shout? Why did you shout? Tum kyu chillai the? That time. The person who is giving this statement is asking you a question. So this is an interrogative sentence. And remember, we have to mark a question mark whenever we are writing any question of any sentence of interrogation. We have to mark a question mark in place of the full stop. Done? So these are the three kinds. Now is the time is for the fourth kind of sentence. And that is... Exclamatory sentences. 
as I always, always, always say to you all that every word, every terminology has its own meaning. So exclamatory sentences are the sentences that gives you the sign of exclamation, that gives you the expressions or the features of any sudden emotion like of joy, sorrow, happiness, fear, fright. Hmm? So like, hey, he is there. Are wo waha hai. So this are, hey, this is exclamatory words and this is this, this is sign of exclamation. So these are the exclamatory sentences. Please remember that whenever you are writing the exclamatory sentence, the first word and the first letter of the word, which is just coming after the sign of exclamation, it should be capital. Okay? And just put a full stop at the end of the chapter, end of the sentence. So these are the basic four kinds of sentences. You may have also some different kinds of sentences also like optative sentence that will be in your higher classes for this section in this class in this syllabus you have to consider these basic four kinds of sentences so that's all for this video i will provide you the notes as well as the worksheet for you you have to write down the notes first of all which i am going to provide you in the written form then you have to write down the exercise the worksheets and complete it thank you so much